Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to create ad hoc reports. Ad hoc reports are the most important report that should everybody should actually try to implement into your dashboards. So these reports are solely made for your end user that they can choose the right di the dimension and the measure they want and then they can export the data or analyze the data. So a simple example will be this particular dashboard where I have an HR data where a measure is active. I am going to select that active and city. Let's say by city how many are active is something that I can look into. I can play around with the uh, toggle here and make good use of it. Okay, as well as I can actually select multiple measures and I can look into the salary also based on which uh, you know on anything I want to basically do. If I want to remove any, I can just remove the dimension or the measure or I can add multiple. Okay, so over to here. To create something like this, there is a special condition that we used. But before going uh, forward to the implementation, I will like to showcase you one of the uh, best uh, ad hoc reports that I have personally created. Over to here, I have a dimension and measure. Okay, if let's say I select a measure and a dimension, let's say city. Now I can select the type of chart I want to look into. Let's say I can actually use pie chart. If I don't understand pie chart, I can go into the uh, line chart, pie chart or bar graph or pivot table or a single table. Okay. So I have disabled this uh, type of charts because these actually expect uh, two dimension, uh, two measures and uh, based on two measures, uh, I feel that uh, I can just tweak it up for example i just choose one more now i can change my type to a combo chart a scatter plot which actually makes sense a single table or i can just use a pivot table so if i just start adding my charts uh, my dimension also i can use pivot table for my advantage where in container using container object i can actually play around with the whole aspect of this particular object also so to create this or to create a basic ma uh, ad hoc report like this you need to understand what are the fundamentals so i have a blank page here i will create a table you need to add all the dimension that are necessary for now i have let's say employee name id <coughs> active date so active date is something i don't want inactive or active status is there okay so i will just say like this and i will create a measure here so this measure is for now a random number okay a random number so this random number will be let's say salary and i will format this let's say in money and over to here i will add it into my master item also okay so that is just a random expression which will change at every aspect okay so it is just for the demonstration purpose so we are going to use the function called as show if function or show if uh, condition here to hide the charts so if i do one over here this particular column will be shown if i do zero then it will be hidden that particular column will be gone 
okay so let's say if i enable this and if i just remove this particular column then based on the dimension the values will change and the value will be updated here let's say there is a department based on the department you have employee name and their salary so if you just remove employee name the salary will come as a sum for departments as per the whole department okay to enable or disable this we need to add that measure and dimension into a different field where we are going to play with it for example employee name and employee id so employee name and employee id i will just add adhoc report ad hoc report i will say dimension load star inline i will add my both of my dimension the same thing i will do for my measure and i will just add salary okay now i will reload so based on the number of dimension you want to add you can just keep on adding here and you need to add that into your report also so i am just creating some space over here for my dimension and my measure filter like this okay dimension and measure is popped up <clears throat> i can just disable this disable the hover disable the details okay now when i select this particular dimension only this should be visible else everything will be hidden to do that first we need to understand and create an expression for the same to create an expression i will just minimize this i will create a text box over here i will just say equal to 1 and i am going to increase the width uh, the basically font size for the same so everybody can understand so the expression will be over here i am going to write sub string count okay so what this uh, sub string count will do it will count the string of that expression for example for ajay i want to just see ay okay now it is giving me one that means it is present if i just say bbb it will give me zero okay that means that particular um, value is present so if i just write a it is going to give me a if i just do like this also then i'll get two so it is a case sensitive substring count so you need to specify exact name so employee underscore id employee underscore name is the name so if you want to change that i recommend you you have to change it into your backend also like this okay so you need a proper name so i am going to take this particular name and in here i will say employee id and now i will just say e for example now how many times it is e is coming in employee it is coming two times so it is giving me two okay small e if i just say let's say uh, o it is going to give me one if i just add a random it will give me zero so now over here i understand that i want to search for employee id but for the text i want the text coming from a different place which place 
what i will do is i will just say get selection get field selection and over to here i will add the field name let's say dimension the value separator expression which is going to be let's say separated by comma for me and max value i will say till let's say uh, max value can be a number i say 100000 okay till 1000 values i can get the field values so what this will do is i will just run this for you all guys for better understanding if i just do like this if i don't select anything nothing will happen if i select it will start adding it as per the separator added which is comma now over to here if i just enable this where substring count i have to uh, find this particular name inside my field dimension using the selections so if i enable this now i will say one okay so that means if i just remove employee id it's going to give me zero that means that particular name is in present in my subcurrent count so what i can do is i can create a dynamic variable what i'll do is i'll go here create v a doc a doc show okay over to here i will add my expression what is my expression this is my expression so in v ad hoc show i'll go ahead and add it into the definition without the equal to and now this is my parameter 1 this is going to be my parameter 2 understood so i have created a dynamic uh variable itself so it will be helpful in the coming future over to here i am going to add the dollar i am going to basically call it where it is going to be dimension then in single quotes i will say employee id so employee id has d capital i'll save run when i select it's there okay now it is working so i'm going to copy this now i don't need this whole uh, text box in my table for employee id for show condition if i am going to paste this for name i am going to go ahead and say employee name so these two are dimension salary is a measure so i am going to change it to measure and i will just write salary okay now as you can see all is selected nothing is selected so it is coming everything so everything is coming okay one more thing that you have to do is table chart is go to your ad hoc data handling in your condition just write a if condition if a dimension get selected count of your dimension field is more than 0 then give me 1 comma 0 and i will just add select at least one dimension okay as my message so let's say i had select one dimension i have employee id if i select salary i will have salary like that okay now as you can see 
the measure isn't working as it should so let's check over here so what i have given here in backend is salary salary So what you need to do here is, in your final parameterized variable, you need to add one more condition that this should be equal to 1. Basically this value should match a value inside the dollar $1, $2 should match $1. Okay. So if it is equal to 0, then only you give it active. Now when I save it, as you can see, that measure is gone, when I select it will come. So now this is the overall ad hoc report. So this includes optimization also, where I have determined that using parameterized variable, it is much more easier to write the expression. So you can check your expression at every stage and using parameterized variable, if you are going to do some addition like the addition actually which I did deliberately that addition can be done and it will be applicable across the logic. So this is how you should use parameterized variable and this is how you actually create a simple basic ad hoc report. So I will meet you in the next video. Thank you.